Um, we discussed some of the different products that growers use for vine kill, and the reason that they want to do uh, want to perform vine kill with a chemical product versus just mechanical is so that they can uh, time their harvest a little bit better by using a product that they know will give you greater than 90 percent um, leaf and stem kill within one to two weeks after they apply the product. And that will allow tuber skin set so that they don't have to worry about bruising um, or any other type of damage as they're harvesting the potatoes and then as the potatoes go into storage, you know, other diseases can get into the tubers if there's some type of wound on the, on the, on the tuber. So, uh, other than mechanical um, vine beating and rolling the vines, or just uh, allowing the potato to die on its own, uh, they've, they've started to use some different products. A real fast kill would be sulfuric acid, um, which the growers have used for many years, and within <coughs> three to five years, three to five days, excuse me, they'll get 100% uh, desiccation of the stems and the leaves, and that means uh, the skin set starts right away, and they maybe could come in, uh, you know, a week to 10 days later and harvest. Um, <coughs> some of the other uh, products that they use are Reglo. The common name for that is Diquat and they can make one application and within two weeks they'll have greater than 90 percent stem and leaf desiccation and then that's when the tuber skin set will start um, sometime within uh, when the vines are starting to die down with the, with the reg loan. <clears throat> A little bit slower product, uh, slower vine kill product would be one called Rely which is glufosinate ammonium and the leaves will desiccate right away uh, within a week you'll have 90% or greater of the leaves of the potato um, foliage desiccated but the stems stay greener a little bit longer and so um, the, the skin set may or may not take a little bit longer with that compared to the, the uh, reglone and definitely a little bit longer compared to the sulfuric acid but one of the advantages uh, with the rely if the grower wants uh, the tubers to keep on bulking, um, there may be some uh, bulking, uh, increased bulking, or additional bulking, let me say, with the rely because those stems are still green. We're still getting nutrients going down in the tubers and they can still bulk up. And that could be important with a variety, potato varieties such as Alturus, which is what we call a late bulker, where when the other varieties such as Russet Burbank are slowly starting to bulk up, Alturus hasn't started that process yet, uh, and then all of a sudden it'll start bulking. So you don't want to kill those vines for those that variety as fast or as early as some of the other varieties because you'll lose out on some of that bulking later in the season. We've done research trials uh, funded by the Idaho Potato Commission with the sulfuric acid, the rely on the the Reglone and one out of the three years. We did have a difference with the Alturus, um, with the Rely was a slightly larger tubers than with the Reglone versus sulfuric acid. And two out of the three years, the Reglone and the Rely were about the same as far as the tuber size, but they were always different than sulfuric acid, which was faster, and bulking wasn't able to occur as long after because you kill the vines, obviously, as, as quick as with the sulfuric acid. Uh, the other reason to use a different chemical uh, products for vine kill at the end of the season would be if you have a lot of weeds out there and you need to desiccate those weeds down really quickly so you don't have a lot of weeds that will tangle up in the digger, um, potato digger as you're harvesting or you have a mat, mat of green uh, weed uh, foliage coming up and you lose the tubers, they'll fall out instead of uh, going up into the harvester. And one of the important weeds to control is hairy nightshade because that can stay green longer in the season, can germinate all season long and produce uh, foliage and even berries with viable seed. And we've done some research to see with the different products uh, if we affected the seed germination and we haven't uh, with any of the products uh, significantly enough to put a dent in the number of seeds that the hairy nightshade produces versus um, you know, taking out some of the germination of those seeds. 
because Harry and I take such a prolific seed producer. Some of the other products uh, that have come onto the market have been Vita. Uh, Pyroflufen ethyl is the common name for that one. And also AIM, uh, which is carfentrazone. And those are used in tank mix combinations with Rely and Reglone um, in order to speed up uh, the vine kill process of some of those uh, different products. And Impericot is also another one that's used. Uh, not as commonly because, according to the label, you can't uh, put the potatoes into storage, the ones that you've used the paraquat on. You would take those to the processor or fresh market right away. So in conclusion, different types of, uh, different types of vine kill products uh, that will uh, help um, speed up or desiccate the stems and the leaves on potato varieties so that you can start getting skin set so you won't have uh, injury to the tubers and wounds that can allow uh, diseases to come in once they're in storage. And we've just done research on a, a lot of those particular products and found out some different things as far as speed and you might need to manage different potato varieties depending on their bulking timing at the end of the season.